Lesson 5.8, Radical Equations and Inequalities. Jump right in. How would you solve this? Well, I always tell people to get the radical alone, and then we can square away the square root. So to do that, move the net 2 over by subtracting both sides, and we get 2. Then we square both sides. And we solve. If you've been watching some of my other videos, I make sure we always check things. In this case, not maybe, in this case, definitely. You have to check it. When you square both sides, you may at some point in time in the process square away a negative. You may not even be aware of it. Sometimes it's clear, oh, I just squared away a negative, it's going to cause a problem. Sometimes it's not clear. So you have to check for what is called an extraneous solution that pops up during the solution process. Three works. Three plus one is four. Square root of four plus two is two plus two. 4 equals 4, it works. That's the easy problem. Slightly more challenging is squaring both of these sides. Remember that 3 minus root x, you can't just square each piece. This is equivalent to saying 3 minus root x times 3 minus root x. And we have to foil it out. 9 minus 3 root x minus 3 root x plus x. So squaring the left side is easy. We get x minus 15. The right side we get 9 minus 6 root x. I just combined them. Plus x. Subtract x from both sides. Subtract 9 from both sides. Divide negative 6 on both sides. It does not look like we squared away any negatives. It looks like things are going to work out fairly well. But before we say, yes, we're done, we do have to check it. You just don't know. 16 minus 15 is 1. Square root of 1. Let's see if that's minus square root of 16. So we get 1 and negative 1. Doesn't work. We squared away a negative somewhere. We don't even know where. Does not work. That is a no solution. It can be a bit frustrating. You do all that work and then at the end it's off not. Or so it seems. Another type of problem. Here we're not taking a square root, we're taking a cube root. But things haven't really changed. We're going to get a ugly solution, which I usually have nice neat solutions, which is a bad habit because the world is not nice and neat. Get rid of a cube root. We cube it. And they cancel each other out. We end up with 5n minus 1 equals 8 over 27. Add 1 to both sides. 5n equals 35 over 27. n equals 7 over 27. We still have to check these. And I've already checked it, and it does indeed work. Try and check it on your own. You'll see you actually unwrap the problem from what you just did. It'll look very familiar to you. But it definitely checks and it works. It should work if it's a cube root or a fifth root because we're not squaring away a negative. We're cubing away something and the negative would stay. So cube roots almost always work.
Now a trickier problem. Let's get that radical alone. Let's square both sides. Let's solve. Feel like we're done. We check it, it works. Hey, we're great. Unfortunately, when we're doing inequality, we have something else to worry about. We cannot have a negative inside a radical. So we look at that, we say, well, 4x minus 4 has to be greater than or equal to 0. That's what it means. That's the translation. Don't write this down. The sentence 4x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. That's the same thing as saying it's not negative. That's what we've just written. So we have to solve that one too. Add four to both sides. And it looks an awful lot like we have a number line with a one and a five. That's there, that's there. Circle. And we're going to fill in the circle and take all the information in between. But of course we have to check. And we do have to check these. Again, the negatives can get strange. You can have overlapping answers. You have answers that don't work. You have to check them all. So let's try a number in the middle here. Let's try 2. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 plus 2 is less than 6. It works. Let's try a number down here. Simple number is 0. 4 times 0 minus 4 is negative 4. Does not work. Let's try an answer up here. It's 6. 4 times 6. Actually, let's try 10 up here. 4 times 10 is 40. Minus 4 is 36. Go to 36 is 6. 2 plus 6 is not less than or equal to 6. Oops. So now we know our answer is x is less than or equal to 5, greater than or equal to 1. That's it. Biggest problem with these is what we call not killing puppies. Not saying that square root of x plus 2 squared is equal to x plus 4. This is not true. You have to FOIL that out. Everybody misses that. Make sure you FOIL it out. Good luck.